The impact test is a test that is put together. It's like um, games for your brain, essentially. So what you do is you go into a room, there's a computer screen, the test is loaded on there, and it's completely quiet, and it's just you in there. And so there's like four or five different sets of tests on this impact test, different modules. So the first module would be, okay, I'm going to flash three letters in three boxes for a certain amount of time, shut it off, and then you're supposed to say what the letters were. So that's the memory part of it. Another part of it is there's a, 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 a field of X's and O's and some will be lit. And you look at it for a certain amount of time and then it shuts off and you have to pick where they were. So this is based on remembering where things were or what they were, but it's also based on how long it takes you to go through it. So the first baseline is whatever a person is at. So you take the test, everybody takes it, just to get, you're only relevant to your own baseline. So it doesn't matter what mine is compared to Mia's, it just matters what Mia's is compared to Mia's. So that test can determine if the, if the variation is too big between your current test and your baseline, then there's concern, then you stay out longer. But the closer you get to your baseline, that's how they can tell, at least with the cognitive part, that you're getting better. And it's, it's 10, 15 minutes. People have a little anxiety about it because they're like, oh, I could have gone faster. Oh, I missed one. And sometimes it's shapes that are up there on the screen. And then they take it away. And then they put the shape up there again. But it's rotated. And you have to be able to tell if it's the shape and if it's rotated or not. So you have to think about all these things. Well, if you're not doing well in your mind, if you have concussion, then you're, gonna, you're not gonna remember or it's gonna be the wrong way or it's gonna take too long. So there's all these things taken into account. But it's a, it's a good start to know where you are and where the team is and if something happens to someone, you can at least have some place to start so you're not just out there blind. It, it gives, you, gives you a place to start. The test provides a little bit of an understanding, but it's, a, it's an interesting test because you're not really sure how well you're doing <laughs> unless you know you completely missed it. But you're not really sure about how you're doing in the time part of it. So, and that's important. Like, you could get everything right, but if it took you forever to try to remember in your mind what the letters were or where the shapes were, then that's taken into account. And so every time I came out of there, I was like in a cold sweat because I was like, I knew I, knew I did poorly. Like you just, over the, over the time of the test, or, or it's too fast. You know, it, it has the letters up, it gives you the time, and then it goes on to the next thing if you're not fast enough on some of those modules. And so it's frustrating because you're like, oh, I missed it. And, and oh, oh, again, I'm wrong. Or it tells you if you're wrong or right. And then you, so you get all this buildup. And so then the anxiety kicks in, which is the other symptoms you might have. And it affects you that way. But that's just, it's a frustrating test if you don't do well. And everybody has anxiety around it, though.